So, what does that coherence look like in practice? Well, we can take the example of ratio and proportion and see how that can be developed over a sequence of years. Firstly, in year seven, students might encounter problems where they're working out three fifths of 120 pounds or dividing 120 pounds into ratio three to two. Then in year eight, they might encounter problems such as Elsa and Ed share a sum of money in the ratio three to two. Ed gets 120 pounds. How much does Elsa receive? Then at key stage four, students might encounter a problem like this. When an item costs 240 pounds after a 40% reduction, what does the original cost? So let's first take a look at that year seven problem, working out three fifths of 120 pounds. We can consider that a bar model might be a useful representation to help us solve this problem. So if we can see that the whole value of the bar is 120 pounds, we know we're talking about fifths, so that's five equal parts, each value 24 pounds. So therefore three of those fifths means that we have a value of 72 pounds. And the bar model here helps us explain the algorithm of dividing by the denominator and multiplying by the numerator. So students might be comfortable with that method and use of a bar model to solve a problem involving fractions of quantities. But if we fast forward a bit to the GCSE problem, students might read that and recognize that as a reverse percentages problem. And as a result, think what's the procedure I know to deal with reverse percentages. Instead of trying to recall what a procedure or method might be for reverse percentages, if students think, well, what is the proportional relationship this question is telling me and how can I represent that? They might then actually lean back on a bar model and see that, well, if I've had a 40% reduction, I know that I have 60% or three fifths remaining. I know that the value of that three fifths is 240 pounds. And that allows me to calculate the value of the entire bar model in this case being 400 pounds. So in this case, the bar model has acted as a tool to help draw a coherent connection from that year seven question looking for fractions of quantities to this GCSE question, helping students see that fractions of quantities and reverse percentages aren't different learning outcomes or different content, but they are the development of a single idea across a number of years. In fact, you'll notice that that bar model could be used in answering any of the questions on the screen helping draw the learner's attention to the idea that this is a single proportional relationship and these different questions are different faces of that relationship. Using coherent representations in this way, we can support learners to develop a conceptual understanding that allows them to see the connections within mathematics rather than seeing mathematics as a number of isolated learning items. You might like to pause the video here and see how that bar model relates to all those questions on the screen. Okay, so your first task then with the geoboard is how many different shapes can we find with an area, an area of five squares? So first of all, what do I mean by area? The space inside the shape. Space inside the shape, brilliant. So an area of five squares. So if you have to find three different shapes, you might want to think about what the perimeter is on your shapes. So... I can count the squares. So one, two, three. Hey, tell me about that show. Um, it's like a rectangle. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's got five, the area in it is as five squares. Brilliant. What do you think about the perimeter? Can you tell me about the perimeter? Um, First of all, what do I mean by perimeter? The outside. Really? Okay. So could you count around it, for example? Okay, start in one corner and count around it for me. One. Strange, give me on go. Just count around with your finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. 
Brilliant. I'd like to use the quiz and air rods to see if the green bar is worth 45 and the purple bar is worth 60. When will they match up? So at what value will they both be in line? Right, we've got a multiple of the greens and a multiple of the purples are matching each other. Okay. So I'm just going to put the pink as 60 and the green as 45. I'm going to keep going until I find um, they are the same length. I think I found the same length. Okay, so what value would they both be at now then? Um, they would both be uh, 180. Okay, so how many green bars have we got? We've got four green bars and three um, pink bars. Okay, so using the different manipulators, can you find ways of showing me what we've got? Um, this is one quarter. This is this is the one quarter because um, this there are four pieces of multi-link and one of them is green. So this is a quarter. This is a quarter. I enjoy maths because of all the different things you can do and you can find something you're good at and help others with something they're not so good at. What do you think of this? Um, I think maths is a good subject because there's so many different topics and you will definitely find one that you're good at. What do you like about maths, Josh? I think it can help you with any job that you get in the future and it can also help you when you get in the future.